Peace everyone, it's your girl Amira. I hope you're doing well. And today we're talking about an important subject on this day. Love, l'amour, el hub. I mean, it's only logical for me to talk about love on this day because it's Valentine's Day and a lot of people will participate in it. And which reminds me, by the way, this is the last time I'm uploading on Wednesday. Starting next week, I'm gonna upload on Thursdays. I made a poll on my Instagram story, which is a little reminder to follow me on Instagram and to subscribe on this channel. Um, and the majority of you voted for me to upload on Thursday. So Thursday weekly vlogs it is. <laughs> but anyways, today, as I said, we're talking about love. And to be more precise, to be really, really honest, we're gonna talk about the worst type of guys I talk to on Muslim dating apps. It's amazing, the gems that we find online. But also because I'm single and ready to mingle. <laughs> no, what I mean is like I'm ready not to mingle, ready to have a ring on my finger. If you like it, to put a ring. So, <laughs> in a world where finding love is challenging nowadays, I remember that I first tried these Muslim apps back when I was in uni. I was extremely shy about it. Um, we heard like whispers of these new apps and in my head, dating apps or whatever online apps meant like bad things. But then a lot of people in our community at school started talking about these apps. The two apps I've ever used were Muzz, which was previously known as Muzzmatch, and Minder. Muslim Tinder, you get it? Um, which is now known as Salams. <laughs> to be honest, we tried these apps because we were curious, but also we had this little idea that maybe we could still find Mr. Right. As you can see, I am still looking for Mr. Right. And while on my beautiful and innocent journey to try to find <laughs> the love of my life, <laughs> I talk to a lot of people and by the way just a little disclaimer there are really good people on these apps I'm not saying they're all bad but I want to talk about the special ones <laughs> the first one that I want to talk about is Casper the ghost known by a lot of you if you ever dabbled on the online dating app scene Casper the ghost is a guy that starts a conversation with you seems to be really into you and then you start to have a good feeling about it you're like okay things are going well and then disappears completely there are two types of caspers you have the one that disappears completely without leaving any sort of trace and then you have the one that wants to haunt you that appears disappears appears and disappears and then when you try to ask for the reason why what was the reason he does not give you any and you just have to end the conversation because you see that this guy is not serious not like serious but <laughs> the second profile that you always find on these dating apps or marriage app in, in my case is the serial profiler this guy <laughs> always create different profiles like you with each one of them i don't know why but they all have a different information in each like it's never the same info except maybe his name this legit happened to me there was this guy who liked my profile and i didn't necessarily like his so i swiped left liked me again with a different profile with different information in it he changed from sunni to shia and then from shia to just muslim and i'm like who are you my guy why are you doing this it feels weird you sort of give me stalker vibe no means no the next one is the one that annoys me the most the one word man it's the guy when you ask him questions you're like hey how are you you try to make conversation because it's awkward for everybody on these apps okay it's still awkward for me because i don't know you <laughs> okay and he only answers with one word good are you getting physically ill every time you're writing a letter is it too much to ask to have a conversation? I mean, chat GPT and Siri talk more when I ask them questions than you, my guy. It's just, ah, it's so annoying. So 
It is 12.30, I'm pretty hungry and I think it's my second time coming to the Atwater Market. I always want to try their pizza, it is really known here, it's called Pizza Mia. I took a half a goat cheese pizza because one looked really big. It's delicious. It's really delicious. It reminds me of the pizza carré, which is the square pizza in Algeria. It's the same sort of sauce. It's amazing. Let's continue our conversation about the worst sort of guys that you meet on online apps. The third one, fourth one, I don't remember the numbers that we are on right now, but it's the catfish. Obviously the catfish is a specimen that is known by a lot of us. And I just have one thing to say. Google reverse image is your best friend. I remember once talking to a guy and his pictures looked too perfect. It looked editorial. The first little tiny, tiny flag rose up in my head. I'm like, okay, this profile is a little bit weird. I started to talk to him, but then his story didn't add up and he never wanted to talk. He started like, telling me really weird stories such as I cannot FaceTime because I have trauma linked to FaceTiming. I cannot talk on the phone because I don't speak English actually. I remember that like my friend talked to me about Google reverse image and I did that only to discover that it was <laughs> a picture of like a model <laughs> and it was not him. And then you have beautiful number five, which is the player. The player is someone that says that he wants to talk to you but only want to get married in four to five years plus. I'm sorry, what? I, I actually, I shouldn't call you the player, I should call you the waste of time. Because five plus year is outrageous, my guy. Wait five years and then come back on the app. I'm not gonna be the one that will wait for you. This is not a romantic movie. This is me trying to find my soulmate in one to two years as soon as possible. I got myself some flowers <sighs> because obviously today is the day to get yourself flowers. I am wondering at the same time if I am not becoming a cliche, but it's okay, I don't care. I just wanted some colors in my room. Another one that is one of my favorite sort of guy that you meet online is the one that says you're different. This guy usually will tell you in detail how much he hates women and that we're all the same we all just want money gold diggers na 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 but you're different huh? this guy wants to be the Edward Cullen to your Bella Swan but the thing is as an adult woman Edward does not have that effect on me anymore you're the special one he can't read your mind you're different you don't like pink oh my god you never played with Barbie before <gasps> You're the chosen one. But I am the chosen one. Okay, sorry. The next one is not necessarily a funny one, it's more of a scary one. And it's the stalker. It goes without saying, it's obvious, the stalker is the guy that will not take no for an answer. The guy that will follow you on every social media that you have, that will even follow your friends. These apps are all about like lessons. You learn how to deal with these sort of things, unfortunately. But I remember the first time it happened to me, there was this guy who I was talking to on the app. It was cool and all. I ended up giving him my phone number so we would talk on whatsapp and that was mistake number one <laughs> because even after we decided not to continue the conversation a couple weeks passed by he decided to randomly call me and to be honest at that point in time i sort of forgot that i was talking to him and when i refused the call he kept like calling and calling and calling i blocked the number because that freaked me out he well i think he because just a couple of seconds just a couple of minutes later he called me from a different number and i ended up reporting him on the app so that's that but yeah please please just don't do that please hi 
<laughs> Guys, it's so freaking cold. I have to stop to do this outside. I have to find a way to do this within a heated place without feeling embarrassed. Probably do this in my room, but still, it's just embarrassing sometimes. Oh my god, it's so cold outside. This one is a rare one. He lives in fan fiction land where he is the plus volume man, the alpha, the Hercules and you are just a mere mortal this guy will usually only talk about himself and when you ask questions he will never answer you and say yes and you he's gracing you with his presence you should feel lucky that he's even talking to you he is a guy that will ask you to convince him to choose you he will ask you things like but what do you bring at the table Achi, if you're asking these questions let me be because listen we're all for manly men. We love that, protective, providers. Yes, inshallah. However, <laughs> if you're too in love with yourself and you don't even spend one minute to get to know me, why do you think I'm gonna continue to talk to you? Guys, I just realized I talked to way too many red flag guys. Okay, Mira, you got it. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. And now, last but certainly not least, is the haram one. The haram one is a special one because he should not be on the app at all. He asks rude questions, he tells you things about himself that you did not need or want to know, and he's clearly, clearly not looking for something halal. Well, that's shocking. Not gonna lie to you guys, this video took a different turn than what I was expecting, but I don't want this video to be taken as losing hope in love. I know that finding love or the right person is not easy, but at the same time, I know so many people that were able to find Mr. Right on these apps. Navigating the world of online dating can often feel like a daunting and exhausting journey I mean I just spend I don't know how many minutes explaining to you how many weird people I met online each experience I believe teaches us a valuable lesson about ourselves. I don't want you guys to leave this video thinking that all men are bad because they're not let's be real these are all my weird experiences and I'm sure that you yourself did find some bad apples online as well but i truly truly believe that they do not represent their gender and that there is alhamdulillah good people out there and that slowly but surely if allah wills it we might find that person <laughs>